we all have one life to live and I want to be happy. Brittany Vassar just posted a new YouTube video confirming her divorce. Brittany and Ryan have two kids, but Brittany teased her viewers with baby number three talk two years ago. Brittany and Ryan have had issues, and Brittany has made content of those issues. She's talked about it on YouTube many times. Typically, when she posts a video about their relationship, that video does better than her regular style videos. As you can see, this video has over half a million views, and the title is The Truth About My Marriage. Now Brittany has a new video up on YouTube talking about her marriage with Ryan and confirming they are getting a divorce. She posted this on Instagram. Finally posted the video. It feels good to get this off my chest, but I'm also signing off for a couple days because this is hard to share. Love you all. Then she linked her YouTube video. Now, most of us already knew she filed for divorce. I covered this in a video last week and I go into more detail about their relationship. If you haven't seen my video, go check it out next. I'll link it here. Now that Brittany has confirmed her divorce, let's look at the document. So Brittany filed for divorce on July 18th, 2023. So she filed less than two weeks ago, but she's been dropping hints for a while now that something's going on in her personal life. She deleted pictures of Ryan on Instagram. Brittany also sent a private message to this group chat that she has over on Instagram. Some of her viewers are a part of this private group and she sent a message on June 30th confirming that something horrific has been going on in her life and that she wanted to take some time off. On July 31st, 2023, Brittany Vassar posted this video to YouTube titled, We're Getting Divorced and she's crying on the thumbnail. Before we check out Brittany's video, I want to show you the tags she used on her video. Now, tags are descriptive keywords YouTubers add to their videos to help viewers find their content. Here's a screenshot of the tags Brittany used on this video. Divorce, Brittany Vassar divorce, family vlogger divorce. Now, I think it's interesting she used family vlogger divorce. I do because she's not a family vlogger. I mean, she says she's not a family vlogger. I think creators oftentimes portray themselves in a certain light. Like, I'm not a family vlogger. I'm not a mommy vlogger, right? I've heard Brittany say that. She even declined to be in the HBO documentary about family vloggers. Remember, I covered this in a video. She was approached by some of the producers of that documentary and she declined because she said, I'm not a family vlogger. But she's going to use family vlogger as a tag to get views. So if viewers are looking for family vlogger content, family vloggers getting a divorce, this video will pop up. So I have filmed some hard videos here on my channel in the time I've been on YouTube. This one has got to be one of the hardest. I don't even know what to say, how to say this. So, I mean, you probably know, you saw the title, but yes. We are getting divorced. I did file this week, so it is going to be public knowledge. And I felt like you deserve to hear it from me. We know she filed on July 18th. So she filmed this video right after filing. And not through gossip or whatever other means. I've shared the highs, the lows of my journey in the past 10 years or so. And I felt like you deserve some sort of a explanation or acknowledgement directly from me. So that's what this video is. I understand Brittany's desire to want to share this with her viewers because although she says she's not a family vlogger, they have made a lot of family vlogs on YouTube. She shares a lot of her family, a lot of her kids, and a lot of Ryan. Now, would I consider Brittany a family vlogger? No, I would not consider her a family vlogger like the LeBrant family or the Ace family. I covered Brittany and Ryan in a previous video because Ryan was sitting in the bathtub with a child and the child didn't have clothes on. So she definitely shows her kids on social media. And so Ryan hasn't been appearing in her videos in some time now, and that has people talking. So people have been talking for a while now. People knew something was up for a while now because Ryan was part of her content and he's just been gone. He just disappeared with no explanation until this video was posted. We are getting divorced. It is a final decision. The paperwork has been filed. And I know hearing that 
many of you might be surprised. Maybe some of you saw it coming. I don't really know what the public perception is of my life or relationship, but. This comment was left on Brittany's video. My God, I just knew something was off. I'm so sorry, Brittany. Just remember you are stronger than you know, and you have all of us behind you rooting for you and the kids. I've heard from a lot of viewers that they thought something was up, something was off. They couldn't put their finger on it, but something didn't feel right, hasn't felt right with her content in some time now. So viewers were definitely aware that something was going on. The reality is, is that it didn't work out and it is absolutely heart-wrenching devastating. I am really struggling and I feel like I'm going through the cycle of grief almost daily. Um, I'm having a hard time keeping it together, eating, sleeping, but I am getting the support that I need. It's good to hear that she's getting the support she needs. She has opened up recently about some of her mental health issues and her struggles and she's been going through it. So I know the big question a lot of you are probably asking right now is why? What happened? What went wrong? And I totally get that because whenever I see couples I know get divorced, I want to know why. I want to figure it out. I want that sort of closure or whatever it may be. And as much as I wish, and if it were just totally up to me, I would share. I feel like you guys who watch me are friends at this point. No, I don't agree with that. I don't think viewers are friends. I absolutely don't. I think you have parasocial relationships with your viewers. I think creators often blur those lines with viewers because they say to viewers, you're my friend. You're like family to me. You are family. I love you. In my opinion, viewers are actually just strangers. I'm a viewer and Brittany is a stranger to me. So it goes both ways. You know, we have two young kids and one day they might watch this video and I really do not want to say anything negative. Brittany's reason for not sharing is the fact that her kids might see this one day, so she doesn't want to say anything negative. But I also think Brittany doesn't want to spill her dirty laundry or Ryan's dirty laundry on the internet. What I will say to you is if you do know me at all, you should know that this isn't a decision that I would take lightly. I have a six-year-old and a two-year-old. I would not do this to them if I felt like the situation was salvageable. And so, unfortunately, it's not going to work out. And I Brittany, I'm so sorry. This breaks my heart for you and your family. I know that none of us dream of our family splitting up, but sometimes it's necessary. You are an incredible woman and mom, and I know you didn't make this decision on a whim. I'm with you and support you. You will get through this. Prayers for you. And the one thing I will say, I'm so confident. Both of us love those kids with everything we have. It's just beyond comprehension and, and something I literally can't even think about or it's hard to even say out loud is that I won't be with them 50% of the time. We've seen a few mom content creators go through divorces recently, and they all make videos talking about their divorce, why they're getting a divorce, etc. And this video from Brittany, I can just feel the emotion and the pain in her voice. I just feel it. And I didn't necessarily get that feeling from other mom content creators when watching their divorce videos. And I understand everybody deals with things differently. Everybody processes things differently. Brittany made this video right after she filed, so everything was new and fresh, and I'm sure she was feeling all the things, so I'm sure that plays a part into it as well, but I can really feel her pain through this video, especially when she talks about her kids. Like half of their life, no, I won't. I'm gonna miss out on half of, half of their life, so that should tell you something. Like, I understand the gravity of this. Her comments right here lead me to believe, this is speculation, okay? This is not a fact because I don't know what happened. I believe Ryan effed up big time. Like, I believe he did something that she could just never forgive him for. Brittany is a public figure. She is announcing her divorce, so people will speculate on what they think happened. And that's part of the problem when you make an announcement like this, but you don't say what happened. Well, then people start to talk and they just assume, they assume things. And so you have to be okay with all of the gossip, all of the assumptions, because that happens when you're a public figure. If you don't say what the truth is, if you don't put the truth out there, people will assume whatever they want to assume. 
And even if you put the truth out there, people will still assume whatever they want to assume about your life. So that's just part of being a public figure and monetizing your life. I think that social media is just used as a highlight reel. So don't ever think that you really know what is going on in someone's life. So I want to add to her statement. Also, don't ever think that you really know a content creator because you don't. They only show you what they want to show you. You don't really know who they are. I will be okay. It will be okay. Life moves on. Um, I know it's really hard right now, but with time, I'm sure it will get easier. So Brittany also said she will continue to make her regular videos, but she also wants to incorporate more videos about the next chapter in her life, a Q&A, answering more questions about her divorce and plans for her future. So it seems like Brittany's okay with continuing to use this as content. She's definitely going to monetize this and viewers will tune in for this content. This is the type of content that really gets a content creator views. One reason viewers tune in is because they think Brittany will drop little hints along the way here and there. Maybe she'll say this, maybe she'll talk about this, maybe she'll open up a little bit more, maybe she'll tell us what really happened. So viewers will continue to tune in because they wanna know what happened. And some viewers think Brittany might spill the beans one day and tell everybody what happened. Plus people like drama and this is drama. Watching content creators is almost like watching reality TV. In the previous video I made about Brittany, I talk about some new accounts she recently started following on Instagram, but she has started following even more new accounts. So let's see who she's following. This account is called Quanta Freedom Healing. She's a narcissistic abuse recovery expert. The next account is called Abuse Victor, Not Victim. Her name is Carolyn and she's a survivor of narcissistic abuse. I believe Brittany follows accounts who educate her, inspire her. I believe she follows accounts that she can relate to. So I think this actually says a lot. Even though Brittany is choosing not to publicly bash Ryan or say what happened or whatever, the account she follows, I think says everything. I think it says a lot. Brittany's not a regular mom on social media. She's a public figure. This is her job. This is her career. And I think if she wants to follow this type of account, engage with this type of account, maybe even leave comments on this type of account, I think she should do it privately. I think she should have a private Instagram account where she can do all of these things privately because She's presenting this as a private matter. She's saying, I'm not going to share what really happened. I want to keep this private. And if she wants to keep this private, I would keep it private. I would not follow accounts and like posts relating to this topic on Vassar Beauty. That's her business account. This is her job. People follow that account, people watch that account, and she's just fueling the fire, in my opinion. Now, if you don't mind fueling the fire, then go for it. Do whatever you wanna do, but she's fueling the fire. I'm glad to hear Brittany has support and she's getting the help she needs to work through this season of her life. Let me know what you think about everything. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching today. See you next time.